Malians it was a lack of clear political leadership that triggered the country's recent chaos. With its last democratically elected president ousted by mutinous soldiers and its north seized by separatist and Islamist rebels, people in Mali say they want the presidential elections to usher in a new era of peace, stability and unity. But as the country gears up for round two, its biggest political party is bickering over which candidate to endorse. The interim president of the party has been saying to vote for Somalia Sisi. It was not his role to say this. It's not up to him to say who to vote for. I'm going to vote for Ibrahim Boubacar Keita. It's a blow for Sumaila Sisi and the anti-coup coalition that have rallied around him and a possible boost for Ibrahim Boubacar Keita which could tip the balance in favour of the man considered to be the favourite of Mali's military junta. I have had good talks with him and I was surprised by his change of direction. What is important is to be constant in your principles and I think that when you're in politics, there are morals involved. And this is the most important thing. But I don't think this will stop the Malian people from making the right choice on Sunday. But analysts say the split in Mali's largest political party is exactly the kind of behaviour from politicians that Malians have become tired of. The people of Mali own their own voices. I think that they have demonstrated with this 51% participation in the election. I'm not sure that the leadership or the candidate are really able to call for people to go in one direction or another. It's another twist in Mali's high-stakes presidential election but whether Drummond Dembele's endorsement of Ibrahim Boubacar Keita will make a difference remains to be seen. We'll find out when Mali goes to the polls again next weekend. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Amago.